Hi, and welcome to Dynaudio Custom Install. This is Larry, and he is a proud owner of one of our in-wall speaker systems. So Larry, thank you so much for inviting me to your home and giving me a tour of this beautiful theater. What made you choose these speakers? Choosing speakers is a journey. The, the most important thing is, is uh, speaker placement and what the uh, sound deafening should be. And uh, we had a uh, very well-known uh, audio engineer by the name of Russ Berger come to my house and help me uh, place where the speaker should be. And we decided that Dyn Audio had the speakers that would allow us to achieve the exact placement that he recommended to us. So when it comes to placing your speakers, how did you know how to direct the sound in this room? Well, Russ helped me a lot. And so did uh, Jeff from um, Boca Theater and David. Um, between the four of us, we had a meeting here at the home. We uh, looked at the room. Russ listened to the room with the other speakers that I had in here and ultimately said, this is what you need to do. And following his advice, we placed the Dyn Audio speakers exactly where he said they needed to be. So it sounds like a lot of work went into putting together a great sound system for this room. What made you choose this configuration? Well, we had certain constraints that we had to achieve. My old system, we felt that the speakers were too close, for example, to, to the listeners. Oh. And so the effects were overpowering the sound. And we had to accomplish the objective of solving that problem. With the Dyn Audio round speakers that we put in the soffit, we were able to aim them exactly where they needed to be. Amazing. It sounds, I think, better than a movie theater, in fact. <laughs> we don't go to the movies anymore. We just listen right here. So when you had your speakers installed, what was that process like? I'd imagine there was a lot that had to go into making a sound system. Well, there was. When I first built this house, I engaged Boca Theater to help me um, do the wiring. Mm -hmm. And it was what I thought the speakers should be, where I thought they should be, where they thought they should be. And I had an existing system that I was moving from someplace else. Plus we had to add to it. Mm -hmm. And they helped guide me through the process of how we did the wiring, um, the construction, um, where we laid out the speakers, the amount of electrical power that I needed, how we were gonna mount the um, projector, mm -hmm. um, where the equipment was gonna be. And ultimately, they came in once we took possession of the house and they did the first system, kind of the way I wanted it at that time. And ultimately, my understanding of what I had and where I needed to go evolved. And so they worked with me over a period of three or four years, this room went through multiple alliterations until we got it to where it is now. Um, and so, you know, they would come in and they would cut holes in the walls and put the speakers <laughs> in and run wiring. Um, and they would um, hook it up to the stuff and we would, the, the, the amplifiers and the tuners and, and all the rest of it. And then we would play music and, oh no, we don't like this hair, and we'd cut another hole. <laughs> we never worried about it because they'd send in somebody to fill the hole. Um, and then we did the sound panels, and then we did the molding, and then we did the speakers, and then we did the, the new screen. And we had Joel Silver who uh, recommends screens, recommend this screen. Um, and it was all integrated. Mm -hmm. And that's why somebody who does this needs to have a very good installer, someone who knows what they're doing. And then I saw them install these speakers and it was simple. I could have done it myself. <laughs> well, it sounds like they nailed it and you got exactly what you wanted. Oh, ultimately, yes. <laughs> so if you had an infinite amount of money, what Dynaudio audio, audio system would you install in your home? Who says I'm finished? <laughs> so you would put one in every single room well, in your house? Well, I'm moving in that direction. There's other speakers in other parts of the house that don't compare to the Dynaudio speakers. But the first objective was to get this room done the way we wanted it. And ultimately, we'll move to the rest of the house and have a system that's totally integrated. Wow, sounds like a plan. All right, so you know a lot about audio and sound systems. What would you recommend to someone else who was thinking about installing a Dynaudio custom install? Well, as a matter of fact, I just got a call from a friend, actually a friend of my son, who's building a large home and wanted my input and advice on his system. Oh. And I said to him, I don't like what you're putting in, go buy Dyn Audio. 
Very good. At least you're honest. Well, so I hope you listened to me. Yeah, saving your friend from making a mistake. Very good. So, Larry, I'm just so curious to know about this journey that you've been on to install all of these amazing speakers in your house. What made you want to do all of this? It goes way back. When my wife and I first got married, I was passionate about having a sound system. And I built what was called a heat kit in 1969. I would come home from work every day and I built that tuner and that amplifier. And when I was, went to turn it on, she ran down the hallway <laughs> because she was afraid it wasn't gonna work. And it worked. And over the years, I was always trying to upgrade my sound. I've always had a good ear for sound. I've always enjoyed sound. I'm a big music fan. When special effects came in, that was when I, I went to my first theater. That was in 1985 or 86. And I built my own theater. I put in my own speakers. I, I did the wiring. And as I've grown in, in this area, I've, I've learned about sound and I've learned about speakers. And ultimately, I came to the conclusion that I wanted the best sounding system that I could possibly have. And that's how I ended up with the Datasat, the Dyn Audio, um, and, and put that together so that I have tremendous amplifiers. And the Dyn Audio speakers give me the quality of music and the quality of a theater. And that's hard to achieve. Yes. So my journey has been a long one, but I, and you know, in sound, you, you may never arrive totally but I sure feel like I'm darn close. The thing that, that is so great about Dyne Audio really is the value proposition. You know, the incremental changes in, this, in the quality of music gets very expensive once you get to a, a certain level. With Dyne Audio, you have this great sound at reasonable prices and you can set a budget and still achieve a good result. Because I've had other Dynaudio speakers here and I've upgraded. So for, for me, Dynaudio is a great solution and it's a great solution for somebody who's, whether they're on a budget or whether they wanna spend whatever they wanna spend, um, you can achieve good sound because the quality of their stuff is so good. I always say that uh, theater is 50% uh, sound and 50% uh, visual. And um, these changed it from 50 to 80% sound. And <laughs> it's just really amazing. And the depth of the, the sound that they produce is really quite extraordinary. All right, I think it's time to put this movie theater to the test. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> All right, let me give you the popcorn. And we are going to sit back and relax and watch a movie while you visit DyneAudio.com to find out more about how to install your own custom installation of speakers. All right. Let's do it.